hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video today i'm going to show you how to fix roblox error while installation not enough disk space for installation minimum 729 mb is required so let's get started guys i have uh, two solutions of this problem so do not skip any part of this video solution number one go to search bar on your windows type here run hit enter and tap here percentage temp temp percentage and hit enter and you have to delete all files and folders from there hit delete you have to delete all files and folders from here and and if you want more space on your local disk c go to this pc and you can see i have uh, more more mbs and now go to local disk c and go to windows and scroll down and go to software distribution and go to download and delete all files and folders from here hit delete if you have windows 11 so hit delete and go to recycle bin and delete all files and folders from there so you can see i have more mb now try again solution number two if you want to increase your uh, uh, local disk space then you can increase your disk space so i have the best solution to increase uh, your local disk c First of all, go to your local disk E. This is disk number one, and this is two and three. So we need local disk E number two, okay? Do not use this disk, okay? Open this local disk E, and this is my local disk, disk number two. So you have to move your all files from here to another disk, okay? Cut it and right click and paste so you have to move your all data off so guys you can see open it this folder is empty now you can see so i don't have any data in my local disk e in my disk number two now go to uh, search bar on your windows tab here run Hit enter on your keyboard and tap here disk mgmt.msc and click OK. And disk management or go to this PC, right click and manage. And disk management. So click here. Now you can see this is disk number one and this is disk number two and this is disk number three you can see here now right click on it and hit delete volume and click on yes now you can see uh, unallocated now guys you can see i have a local disk c and gp49 you can see uh, 49 GB okay now go to your local disk C right click on it and extend volume click on next and use default settings click on next and finish but my extend volume option is grayed out is disabled in this case uh, you can disable your uh, recovery partition go to search bar on your windows and tap here cmd and uh, go to command prompt right click and run as administrator now tap here this command reagent dc space slash disabled right click on it and add it and paste and hit enter wait for some time now type this one disk part
hit enter now tap here list disk right click on it and add it and paste hit enter and select your disk zero here hit enter on the keyboard disk zero is now the selected disk now select uh, list partition here right click on it edit and paste list disk and hit enter so you can see uh, partition to recovery this is my recovery partition this one okay now tap here this one select partition two okay this one do not select another partition select recovery partition so recovery partition is number two okay select partition two here hit enter on your keyboard in your case your recovery partition number will be two three or four but in my case my recovery number is two okay so type here two and hit enter on your keyboard now type here detail partition hit enter on the keyboard now right click and new and documents and open it now guys you have to copy this one type 27 and save file and save close it and if you have uh, a tip then use copy uh, these lines command lines and save into uh, your documents so but my if uh, c is mbr not gpt now tap here delete here click here and tap here delete partition delete partition override delete partition override and hit enter on your keyboard now guys you can see uh, successfully uh, deleted the selected partition so here you can see close it uh, this one here my recovery uh, partition disk is not available here now you can easily extend your local disk c so right click on it and extend volume click on next and use default settings click on next and finish now guys I have 167 GB in my local disk C. Now we have enough space in our local disk C. Now we have to create a recovery partition for our local disk C. Now go to CMD command prompt, scroll down, but uh, go to your local disk C, right click and go to shrink volume. And tap here 1 GB uh, 10 24 and okay shrink now we have 1 GB uh, unallocated right click on it new simple volume next next and next and use default settings click on next and finish now go to a local disk this pc and you can see new volume d here now go to uh, here command prompt here this one open it and tap here list disk yeah list disk here press enter and select uh, disk zero select disk zero press enter now tap your list partition 
list partition hit enter now guys you can see you have to select this one partition too because one gp here you can see uh one gp new volume d okay so 166 uh, gp here local disk c is my primary primary partition one and 130 gp here primary this one 130 gp here okay now this one uh new volume d primary uh here 1024 okay now tap here select partition click here select partition two do not select any other number okay hit enter and tap here set id 27 here you can see 27 okay up here 27 now hit enter on your keyboard so you can see disk part successfully set the partition id now go to your uh, disk management here so our uh, recovery partition uh, has been successfully created so it's done now uh, go to cmd again now we have to remove uh, uh, this uh, letter uh, d so tap here list volume here click here and tap here list volume and press enter and you can see new volume d here this one here and tap here uh, select volume select volume d okay so you have to select uh, new volume d here hit enter on your keyboard now tap here remove letter tap here d and hit enter on the keyboard now tap here exit hit enter now tap here reagent tick space slash enabled and hit enter on your keyboard now wait for some time over here and it's done now close it so we have a recovery partition here you can see and it's done now reopen your Roblox and run as the administrator now it's working now the error has been fixed i hope this tutorial helps you and please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching